Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. I was doing a little late night video editing and I decided to put together a series called What's on the Build Plate? So, here we go. Take it away. Before you get into your SLA or DLP resin printer, you need a set of these. Very important. Let's see what's on the bill plate. Check this out. Pretty, huh? Nice for the holidays. I'll put a description in the links below to the STL file for this holiday deer. Perfect for the holiday season. This is a tiny one printed with very little supports on the Anycubic Photon. Here's the next one. Can I just kind of get my thumbnail under there, support the legs. Especially if you've got some delicate pieces, you may want to use some um, nippers or clippers. But I found out that just using your nail through your glove, uh, again, when this resin is in this state, uh, it's not been cured in alcohol. It's not been cured under the UV light. It's very pliable and it, You can pop it right off and I like to do that with my prints now. You're probably asking yourself Look at this bed. It's nasty It's got resin all over it. It's a big mess now you could do one of two things You could take a paper towel wet it with some alcohol wipe it off or you could wipe it off with a paper towel, but I've been using Sprayway Glass Cleaner on my windows at home. I have been using it on my FDM printers in the background to clean the print beds. It works awesome. And I thought to myself, why not use it on my resin printer? It's alcohol. In fact, this is perfume grade alcohol, along with a solvent that seems to just dissolve resin like nobody's business. So check this out. Shake it up. Spray it on. Kind of a foaming action there. Just take you a take you a paper towel and wipe it off. Look at that. A little bit of the leftover. What I like about this is that it leaves the bed. Can you hear that? Almost squeaky clean. That's awesome. You can also use it to clean your hands. Look on your hands. I'm just wondering if you could clean one of these with that foam. Hmm. I wonder if I should give it a whirl. Maybe not. If you like what we're doing here on 3D Print Farm, hit the like and subscribe button. We'd love to see you again. Have a great day. Welcome back everyone to 3D from oh. Hemini, Hemini, Hemini. Before you get into your any cubic photon or any DLP or SLA resin printer, you need a Sarah. Before you get into your